warm greeting dear students in today's session we are going to discuss about the assignment part of statistics subject and the whatever i'm going to explain that will be, that will be the procedure to do your assignment so now the first step is uh, we have given a link of bsc website here in the word file that will be shared to you we just need to copy this link then that you need to paste it in google page so once you paste the link here you will be getting the page like this okay so that link you can copy it here and once you copy here here you need to give the company's uh, details to search about the share prices that is also given in your uh, word file you can see that against your name for each one of you the company code is given okay that is uh, uh, numerical code is also given as well as uh, codes in let letters also given okay so you can follow anything so if you if you follow this codes in numerical that will be easy for you to find the right company so now uh, you can go to the website uh, through the link and here you can type the code which is given against your roll number okay so i am uh, for sample i am taking a company here so it is vijaya diagnostics center limited so i am selecting the company and uh, the date what you need to select is select from 1st january to 19th february till today okay so 1st january to 19th uh, february you can select the date like this and once you select the date okay you can click and you can select the date like this 1st january to 19th february today's date you can select like this and once you select you can give the option for search okay submit option is a if you click submit you will get the data of that particular company okay so now i am getting the company data here in the table that can be downloaded okay so yeah now it is ready for download you can go down there you will be getting the option of kindly download the csv file to be records so you can click it so if you click it it'll, it will ask you to uh, save it somewhere so you can save the data so i am saving the data here okay so once you save the data you can open the data file so you can open the data file now at the remaining part of the assignment we are going to do it in excel okay so what are the things you need to do for your assignment is i'll tell it in the word file it is given in the word file so first you need to create a facing sheet which will contains your details like such as a name roll number section subject name and teacher name that you can write it in the facing sheet and the first page contains introduction about the assigned company okay so for example geo finance is given in the sense you need to search about geo finance in google and you can write one page of one page of introduction about the company that is first page and second page you can do the descriptive statistics i'll be explaining that and you can write interpretation for the descriptive statistics and then you need to do line graph and bar graph and conclusion this is what you are going to do for your assignment okay so now the csv file is ready uh, so i'll go to the file so now if you open the csv csv file it is like this now whatever the column is required i'll tell you remaining column you can delete it okay so now i need a date i need opening price i don't want this high price low price okay so i delete that cells and i don't want this wap number of shares number of trade all other columns i don't want okay so i am deleting all other columns now now opening price and closing price and date i am taking uh before we are proceeding if the values are uh, integers that will be easy for you instead of decimal values so what you do you just select these cells okay 
select these values alone not the headings okay only the values so now you can go to home and you are getting option here to re- uh, make it round digits okay that is integers so you can decrease the digits now all the values are rounded values make it to the center so now all the values are rounded values so these values can be used for can be used for further assignment further assignment so we are going to do the further assignment further assignment by having these values so what we are going to do is uh, i am having these values so uh, first i need to do the descriptive statistics okay that's what given in our assignment as first part so now the what is descriptive statistics in the sense we still now in the class we discussed about mean median mode range standard deviation all these things we discussed okay all these things can be done through excel all these are collectively called as descriptive statistics it is one of the important tool for uh, research okay so now i am going for that uh, descriptive statistics now uh, how to do that one in the sense you need to go to the column called data okay in the data top right corner you will be getting option called the data analysis some of you may not have this option if you don't have this option you can go to file and you can go to options and once you click the options you are getting the uh, option called add-ins you can click the add-ins if you click the add-ins you are getting so many add-ins in this i need analysis tool pack so okay i need analysis tool pack so select the select that analysis tool pack and click go okay once you select this analysis tool pack don't click okay click go okay in the manage column there is option called to go click the go and automatically it will be added with your Uh, excel as add ins okay and now you are getting the option of da- data analysis so now i need to do the descriptive statistics i am selecting data analysis i am going to descriptive statistics there is option called descriptive statistics i am selecting that i am clicking okay now it will ask you what you want to do for the descriptive analytics that is input range so i am se- just selecting the input range i need a descriptive statistics for open price and closing price so select from top to bottom all the cells wherever the values are there okay including that opening price and closing price uh, you can uh, check this uh, labels in first row so that it will understand that first uh, row is open price and closing price that labels are there okay now where you need output output where you want in the sense i need okay so i need output in the same sheet okay so i am selecting output range here so i am selecting the output range here and then click summary statistics okay click summary statistics it has to be checked now you click okay you are getting you are getting summary statistics that is descriptive statistics for opening price and closing price you can see here so color it differently so that you can differentiate i am coloring differently in order to differentiate this opening price the light color so that you can differentiate and this is closing price opening price and closing price i'm just giving different colors to differentiate so now this is done okay for opening price and closing price we have done i'm just merging it in order to have the heading properly so now whatever i have what whatever i have i have me me standard deviation standard error i have then median i have mode i have 665 and standard deviation i have that is 20.0594 and sa- sample variance i have kurtosis quinus 
not yet to be discussed and it's not part of your syllabus just we you concentrate on mean median mode standard deviation okay so what you need to concentrate mean you need to concentrate on these values i am highlighting that mean you need you need median mode and you need standard deviation okay so these values you want and also we need range all this we discussed in our class so and also count count indicates the number of values okay so i need these values so i am highlighting those values so so i need mean median mode standard deviation and i need range i hope uh, you know how to calculate this manually that we are doing it in excel okay how we are applying tools to analyze whatever we learned theoretically in the class okay so now this is done so first part of your assignment is done that is descriptive statistics you have made the descriptive statistics now okay now we are going to do the second part interpretation what you need to write in the interpretation is just to exp express about what is the mean value what is the median value what is the mode what is the standard deviation what is the range that just to take down the values and write it and here if you see that in the opening price there is a mode 665 some of you may get mode some of you may get may not get mode like this you may get na it means there is uh, no value repeated in the closing price so that it says there is no mode we discussed that if there is no values are repeated it is uh, no more it is uh, uh, multi modal or there is no mode for the given values here it is taken as no mode uh, because no value is repeated but in the opening price 665 is repeated okay so that is taken it here and uh, other values standard deviation a range and count total number of values are given okay so now first part is over you can write the interpretation for this what are the values for the uh, these uh, measures like mean median mode standard deviation range okay so second part what we are going to do is what is given in our assignment second part is given that you need to do your graph okay for what you are going to do the graph so you are going to do the graph for the date opening price and closing price okay so now uh, before that one more option is also that you can do try that also there is moving average okay so that we'll be taking it in the class uh, is part of your uh, time series so this also you are able to do it to, by using excel okay so that's what we are going to do it here so what you are doing in the moving average in the sense for the closing price we are going to do the moving average that also in the same way we are going to do that is you need to select data analysis data data analysis and you can select moving average you can select moving average okay okay now in the same way it will ask you the range of input so select the range of input like this the range of input is selected and uh, labels are given if you want you can give the label in the first row or you can leave it okay and interval you can give 3 as of now 3 i'll tell you what it is in the later uh, point of time so you can give uh, you can give in the interval 3 and output range it is asking so output i can give it here okay so output i need it in the column where i have mentioned as moving average so i need the output here so i am selecting the next column um Okay. Okay. So now I got moving average values for the closing price. Okay, these are the moving averages. Okay, we have done the moving average. See here, moving average is done. Now I need to make a graph for this. Okay, to make a graph for this, just select select whatever the columns I am telling. Select date. Press Control and select other column like. press closing price press moving average okay press control 
then select date closing price by pressing con control you need to select date closing price and moving average now i selected all these three okay now i am going to the option to make a graph okay go to home uh, go to insert and select the option line graph and select the first option 2d line now i am getting the graph for closing price and moving average okay for closing price and moving average we have done a graph that we made it now one more thing also we need to do that is histogram okay how we can uh, uh, that is bar graph okay how we can do the bar graph in the sense now bar graph for the opening price and closing price i need so select the first three columns select the first three columns go to insert and you can select this column and you can select the first option will be getting a bar graph okay so you will be getting a bar graph like this so now see here you are getting one bar graph you are getting one move line chart which are consisting the values of closing price and moving average and you are giving having descriptive statistics this is about your theory uh, your assignment part and uh, i'll share you that word file so all whatever you want for your assignment is done okay first page facing sheets which contains your name roll number section subject team teacher name and second page introduction about short introduction that is one page introduction is enough introduction about the assigned company and second thing descriptive statistics and third thing interpretation about uh, descriptive statistics and fourth uh, task is line graph and bar, bar graph line graph for Close opening price, uh, line line graph for closing price and moving average, bar graph for opening price and closing price. After that, you can write your own conclusion. Whatever you observed from the values, whatever you observed from the uh, graph, uh, based on that, you can give your own conclusion, or you can give conclusion about whether this particular share can be purchased or not. See here the line graph. If you have seen that, it is coming down. Okay, it's coming. It starts from a six eighty. Now it is around six twenty. So this uh, share is underperforming, or it, it is down performing. So now uh, investment in these shares is maybe more risky. Like that, you can give a conclusion, your own conclusion, whatever you observed from this uh, bar graph, line graph, and this descriptive statistics that you can give it by yourself. Okay, so this is about your assignment part. If you have any queries, you can uh, discuss with your. Uh, subject teachers if you are not getting the values of your the assigned company you can meet your subject teacher thank you thank you for your patience listening and i hope you are able to understand whatever we discussed in the video thank you